Oh, hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here, I'm Oliver, and uh, have a look at this uh, Daphnia here, it's something strange, uh, right, it doesn't quite look the way it should look, um, yeah, and uh, you actually see it looks kind of, uh, yeah, a little bit uh, like something is growing on its surface, and indeed uh, there are tiny little rotifers uh, growing on the surface of this uh, water flea, of this Daphnia, um, and uh, I don't know, maybe maybe hundreds of them even, um, and I got a, a jar of Daphnia from a, a colleague um, and he was growing them uh, as fish food and he's, he told me that with some of those Daphne they look kind of strange uh, they look kind of fuzzy a little bit furry right and I said well I think I'm just going to put them under the microscope so he gave me this jar and this is actually how it looks like and indeed there are those uh, hundreds, of hundreds of tiny little rotifers growing on the surface of uh, this Daphne now are they parasites so what's going on here well um, actually they are not Parasites, they're so called epibionts because uh, those uh, rotifers uh, they do not really feed on the Daphnia itself, um, but rather they're simply carried along. And uh, when uh, the Daphnia is being given some food, then of course they're going to feed as well. So I think it seems to be some kind of an advantage for them um, to be able to be moved around uh, by, by the Daphnia. And uh, what I've done um, also is I also was able to isolate one of those uh, rotifers and I was able to zoom in quite a bit uh, and uh, I was able to have a look um, in great uh, detail and I was able to see that yeah it's indeed an interesting um, interesting critter here um, it was not able to swim away because it was compressed between the cover glass and the microscope slide um, and uh, this allows us uh, to of course um, observe uh, them in much uh, greater detail now rotifers um, they have uh, essentially a ring of cilia um, at their head which uh, they're generating a stream of water and they're this way they're uh, taking up uh, small bacteria and other debris um, um, as a, a source of food and uh, the Daphne they're feeding on the same right so they are also taking up uh, um, tiny little microscopic algae and and, and bacteria so um, essentially what can happen is is that uh, those Daphne are not only limited in their movement uh, but uh, they have to compete uh, with those rotifers for the food right uh, as a matter of fact you can see that some of the rotifers here are swimming around it's a little bit out of focus uh, because i did not uh, put a cover glass uh, on on top and we are looking at the whole thing now in in also in dark field um, here um, as well but of course uh, um, there are also other imaging techniques that uh, yeah, I'm going to show you. Yeah, Now of course at a higher magnification it's it's a little bit more difficult uh, to see um, everything um, uh, yeah but uh, right now we're able to see that they're kind of really uh, growing quite densely on the surface um, of, of this water flea. Now um, I was also able to find a whole bunch of dead Daphnia in the jar Yeah, and a little bit uh, to my surprise uh, those rot first uh did not grow on dead Daphnia uh, so um, yeah essentially they seem to have a pr uh, preference of being moved around and uh, maybe uh, this is indeed also the advantage that they have is, is by being uh, connected to, by sitting on, on a moving Daphnia then they're always carried around uh, to new places where there is food um, and dead Daphnia essentially they were uh, basically uh, free of those uh, little rotifers so um, yeah it's uh, quite interesting uh, to, uh, to observe this as well for me it's the first time that I'm actually able to see so many um, yeah, rotifers and uh, such uh, so closely together and even sitting on on, um, on a water flea yeah so and I just hope that this uh, little critter here is able to survive uh, um, but uh, so far it seems to be doing fine um, and uh, uh, we're gonna see whether uh, the culture is able to survive uh, over the next couple of days because normally what happens is that uh, if there uh, is such a strong infestation of, of rotifers uh, on the Daphne that this actually is a very big stress on on the Daphnia culture. So I just wanted to share this uh, with you. I think it's, uh, uh, for me personally, always surprising on, 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 yeah, on what you're able to find in nature. Um, and uh, this is indeed uh, also one of those yeah, somewhat uh, unique and, and weird um, um, observations. But by, by the way, uh, it just before uh, yeah, I conclude, do you actually see that some of those uh, uh, rotifers actually have this large, dark, round structure uh, yeah, carrying around? Well, that's actually an egg. So some of these rotifers actually yeah, um, are carrying around eggs like the one over here yeah, in the center right now. You see this? Yeah, this is round 
dark thing connected to it. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, basically these are eggs. And so we see that those rotifers are quite happy in, in this culture here because they're also uh, quite happily reproducing here. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, that's all I would like uh, to, to share with you today. Um, yeah, there is a subscribe button somewhere. I'll leave your comments. Uh, and uh, happy microbe hunting as always and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.